Hi guys, welcome back to my episode of Vlogmas. It is like 3.15 in the morning right now. Call me crazy for filming, but it's fine. I'll be fine. I just got done hanging out with my friend Amethyst and we had a really good time. We went and got coffee at this place called Spy House. I actually still have my coffee cup right here, but we went to Spy House in Minneapolis and it was so fun. And then we came back to my apartment and we watched the movie Coco, which was so good. I had never seen it, but honestly, if you haven't seen it, it is literally so amazing. I thought it was actually gonna be like comparable to Encanto if you've seen the Disney movie Encanto, but it's actually like really different and focuses on Dia de los Muertos. And I thought it was such a beautiful story and just one of the best Disney movies I've ever seen. We watched the Netflix show Wednesday, which just came out. It has Jenna Ortega in it, who's like one of my favorite actresses. She's so talented. And yeah, that show is really good. We just watched like the first episode. So I'm planning on continuing to watch that show. What else? Oh yeah, so I hadn't seen her in a really long time. So I opened a bunch of gifts from her that she had just had for like the past year from like my birthday and I think like Christmas of this year or last year, I don't even know. But yeah, we just caught up and it was a really fun time. But she got me this amazing thing called the Comfy. I'd never heard of this before, but it is literally like, I feel like a Muppet, but it is literally like a jumbo size sweatshirt thing with pockets and a hood and I'm so obsessed with it. It has like a zipper too. I feel like a flying squirrel. She knew I was gonna put this in a vlog, so I, I had to, but this thing is so freaking comfortable. It's the best thing ever. She also got me this amazing candle. And so it's like, there's a tea candle in here and then the heat makes these butterflies spin. And I think it's so beautiful. She also got me this Music Man record, which I absolutely love. I know the lighting's a little rough right now, but I love the Music Man so much. It's probably my favorite musical of all time. So I'm super excited to listen to that on my record player. She also got me this book that's called All Along You Were Blooming, Thoughts for Boundless Living. And it's like a poetry book and it's just super cute. It says there's so room to grow in the ways you were meant to. And it has these really cool little like illustrated pages with like, poems and I just thought it was really thoughtful. So I really liked that. She also got me this bracelet from this brand called Top Cuff. I've never heard of Top Cuff before, but it's this really gorgeous silver bracelet and I actually don't have that much silver jewelry, but I really like this bracelet. It's so cool and it also has meaning to it. This is so cool about it. It's a Morse code bracelet. And so as you can see, I don't know if you can see that, but the Morse code coincides with the beads on the bracelet. So it actually means be still and know. So as you can see, the little circles on the bracelet actually match the code on the card, which is so unique and so cool. I've never seen that before in jewelry. So I thought that was really, really cool. My boyfriend doesn't know this yet, but my family is getting together tomorrow. Well, today technically and my grandparents are coming over here, my parents are coming over here, and he's coming over here, and he doesn't yet know that we're actually celebrating his birthday, but super belated because I had COVID during his birthday. So I got this big like happy birthday balloon banner that I'm gonna blow up right now and tape up on my wall. And then I got these like streamers that look super cool. My mom also gave me a Christmas tree to decorate for him because I know that he doesn't have a Christmas tree in his apartment, which made me sad because I know how much he likes Christmas. So I'm actually gonna decorate it with all these different decorations that I got today and He's not gonna know until the end of tomorrow that the Christmas tree is actually his tree to go and put in his apartment. So I'm gonna get to decorating and y'all are gonna help me because I'm gonna go delirious. It is 4 a.m., 3 a.m., whatever. And I have to get a move on because the game starts at noon tomorrow and I don't wanna be doing this tomorrow. So let's go get to decorating, woo. So here's everything. We got the photo backdrop. It's like, I know it's a photo backdrop, but we're just gonna use it as like streamers for like my apartment somewhere. I got some ornaments to decorate his little Christmas tree. I got a happy birthday balloon banner, and then I'm gonna put belated like 
here somewhere in like tape or something just like make it funny. A bunch of balloons that I actually forgot that I got but I'm gonna blow up a bunch of these and put them on my floor. Oh yeah, I got a little star to put on his Christmas tree because I thought that that would be really cute. I got some garland as well. I also have all of these decorations and I honestly don't know what to do with them. I don't know how I accumulated so many trees. Like I have way too many trees for the space that I have and I already have that big one so I don't really know what to do with this. But um, I'm actually gonna be decorating this tree for him. This is the one that he's gonna be taking to his place. Oh, also, I totally forgot to show you guys this, but Amethyst also got me this plant, which I thought was real at first when I saw it. I was like, oh, that's so cool. But it's actually kind of nicer that it's a fake plant because now I can actually keep it in my bathroom and I don't have to worry about it, like, you know, getting rotted or anything and having to take care of it. So I think my plan right now is that I'm gonna be blowing up the happy birthday balloons because I'm the most excited about this. It's supposed to be like, a reusable one like you can blow up all the letters and then you can reuse it which is pretty cool and it comes with this little straw to like blow up all the letters with so hopefully it's okay i saw one person that did this and they broke one of the letters like they blew too much air into it and it popped so i'm really trying to not be that person but i think i'm just gonna watch some tv and figure this out so <laughs> this looks so funny i literally look like a christmas tree skirt right now I think I'm gonna watch the World Cup soccer games from today. I know that Morocco and Portugal played today, which is so exciting because Morocco is like making so much history as an African nation and making this stage of the World Cup, which is so cool. So I, I have to root for Morocco, but I also just absolutely love Cristiano Ronaldo. I know my boyfriend is rolling his eyes at me right now, which is fine but I think he's the best soccer player ever. I also know that England and France played today, which is crazy because those two teams are like the top two in my head. So I'm kind of eager to see who wins. I put France on my World Cup bracket to like win the entire thing. So hopefully I will still win that. I guess we'll see, but I'm gonna definitely start with the Morocco-Portugal game because I'm so curious how that one ended up. Okay, so I'm gonna attempt to do the first one right now and we'll see how this goes. So far nothing's happening and I'm getting kind of worried. Is that it? That's pretty freaking easy, honestly. I'm surprised. I might have to blow this one up a little more, but like, that's not bad. First letter's done. Now I gotta do all the rest. I was also getting nervous because some of these letters don't look like what they are, I think, until you blow them up. So at first I'm like, this isn't even looking like it says happy birthday. It looked like happy June. And I was like, this is gonna be a problem. Alright, so we finished all of the letters and they actually turned out so good. That was actually like not that difficult to do. I think they look pretty cool. But now I have to unscramble all of them and then put them on the string so we can make a little birthday banner and it's gonna look so cute. Oh, okay, so I'm so hot. I just had to change because I was way too hot doing all of that in my like big bowl, whatever Sherpa thing. So I changed into a t-shirt because 
this is gonna be way cooler i'm still like sweating so much but i got the birthday sign done and i'm really happy with how that turned out and now i think what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna put up the streamers because i think then i'll actually get the full like effect of all the silver and i think i'm gonna end up putting them in this hallway because i have like this perfect little nook for them to go in so i think i'm just gonna do them like draping down from there and then it'll be like across from the happy birthday sign and i think it's gonna look really cool okay hanging these might be an issue but i guess we're just gonna see how this goes Okay, so I just put this up and I think this looks really cute. Unfortunately, it's like a photo, um, like a photo drop, like a backdrop. So it's a little bit longer than I wanted, but like I'm just gonna roll with it because it still looks good. And then actually, funny enough, the birthday of the happy birthday sign just fell off, of course. I actually had thought it might look cuter in my living room, like upper living room area. So I think I'm actually gonna move it because I don't really like it as much in there as much as I thought I would. And I kind of want it to be across from these streamers. So like when he walks in, he'll see it like right on this wall. So we're gonna take it down and change it because I'm gonna be a little bit extra. So it is now balloon time. So I'm gonna be blowing up all these like blue, white, and silver balloons. And there's not like a ton in here, so it should be pretty easy. But I just thought that it would add a little more to the vibe because I've got like the happy birthday sign and I've got the streamers, but like these just are a little additional fun things to like put around. And I think that these will be super cute with the birthday party. It is like, it's like 5.30 right now in the morning. I've just been watching World Cup soccer. It is the 87th minute right now and Morocco is up by one and it's one to zero and I really want Morocco to win this game. So I've been like listening to this while I've been decorating and oh my gosh, I just want them to win so bad. I guess we'll see what happens. I'm just gonna do these balloons while I finish watching the last like few minutes of this game but I feel like it's about to get interesting. Morocco just won! Oh, I feel so happy for them. It makes me like emotional because they're the first ever semi-finalists from Africa. That is so cool. I feel so bad for Cristiano Ronaldo, but also I'm so glad for Morocco. Oh my God, what a moment. So I just filled up all these balloons and I think that I'm just gonna kind of like put them around here and like around that main upper area. Okay, for so for the tree, I'm gonna be using this tree and this is the one that he's gonna take with him. And I'm gonna be using these small little ornaments which are super cute. And then I'm gonna be using one of these stars which I think is also like just so cute. And I'm gonna put this up on the top, I think. And you can't really see it, but I'll show you guys when it's done. And then I also have this adorable like star garland. And I think it's just gonna make the tree look like actually decorated, which is kind of funny. And then he can take it with him. So hopefully he likes it. And now actually I put on the England versus France World Cup game because I finished the Morocco, um, what was it? Morocco, Portugal game which was absolutely crazy, but I have heard that this game is also crazy. I am personally rooting for France because they are my World Cup winning pick. So let's hope that they score. I just realized that we also had lights that we bought and I'm not seeing them anywhere. I'm gonna go check the bag, but I knew something was missing. I hope that we paid for them because now I'm questioning if we even purchased them. So that kind of stinks. Let's go look. Okay, I found them, thank goodness. But if I didn't show you guys earlier, there are these little warm white LED dewdrop lights, which are so cute and they have a timer on them. So hopefully they look okay with this color. I honestly am not really liking the star garland, so I think I'm gonna leave that off. But what I'm gonna do is, I think I'm gonna do the warm white lights 
and then I do these little ornaments to start with because I think these would probably look the best in my opinion. So hopefully it looks cute. We'll see. Hopefully. <sighs> Okay, so this is where it's standing right now. I decorated it and put like a bunch of little Christmas balls on it and I think it looks actually pretty cute. And then I also added these like fairy lights. I don't know if you guys can really see them that well, but they add quite a bit to the tree in my opinion. So yeah, just like a little fun amount of light. And I don't know if I'm gonna add, I got this star to put on top and I think it might be too big, but I might just try to put it on. But if it looks ugly, I'll just leave it as is. But hopefully it looks okay. I hope he likes it. Okay, so lastly, I got this ribbon for my tree and I also updated my tree skirt to this adorable like black and white checkered look. And so the ribbon matches it so well, in my opinion. And then I also got these gold little, like, stick-in... I don't even know how to explain them. They kind of just, like, stick out and they have a bunch of, like, little circles on them. And I think they just make your tree look a little more fancy and, like, full. So I'm gonna quickly add those on and then I think I'm gonna call it a night because I'm getting really tired. Okay, so I just finished doing my tree. I'm so happy with how it turned out, but I think that I'm gonna call it on this Vlogmas because I really need to get to sleep before I lose even more hours. So I will talk to you guys in the next one. Bye.